So here are the favorites to win the NBA championship this year. The Bucks and the Celtics, they're at the top. They're followed by the Suns, the Warriors, the 76ers in the top five. This is all according to Caesar's Sportsbook. And earlier this week, I sat down with Bucks guard Drew Holiday. We now welcome in Bucks guard Drew Holiday. Drew, thank you so much for joining us here on NBA Today. And I'm so excited because it's the best time of the year. It's the playoffs. They are here. But as you look back on how you're coming into this playoff run, how do you think that differs or maybe you've improved since the 2021 championship, Drew Holiday? Um, I'm just playing with a lot of confidence, me personally. Uh, loving, the, loving the game, loving my teammates and, and how we play. And, uh, just really having fun out there. I think that's uh, something that not only me, but but the team shows every time we play. So you guys have like a you know WWE style belt for the free throw competition, but the best defender on the Milwaukee Bucks is who? This year, I'd have to say Brooke. I'd have to say Brooke Lopez. Um, my opinion, I think he's defensive player of the year. Um, I don't know if people really watch him like that or uh, care what he does, but. Um, I, me as a point guard and me as somebody who gets blown by a few times in the game, knowing that Brooke has, has not only my back, but every, like he literally covers everybody's back. He alters shots at the rim. He's averaging probably the most blocks that he's had in his career. And our defense is significantly worse when he's not on the court. This, this is such a, a group effort, this team. How would you stack up this team in its totality against your 2021 team that won the championship? Uh, I think we compare uh, very well to each other. I just think that maybe going through that was our experience. And then now that we've done that, we have more experience because mm. we know what it we knew we we know what it's like to to get to the top. So um, we still have that hunger. We still know that it's hard. It's it's really difficult winning a championship. We have some great teams here in the East and and back West, but um, I think our experience helps us a lot. You you talked a little bit about Giannis and and being around you guys a bit. It seems like everything sort of trickles down from him. How does he personally challenge you? Uh, I think. I think it's his actions. Um, for one, when Giannis speaks, you can tell that he speaks with intention. He doesn't talk a lot, but I think it's his work ethic. I think it's uh, how he carries himself, not only off the court, but on the court, how he approaches practice every day. He approaches the games. Um, they're very, very important to him, and he doesn't take any of that for granted. So, you know, those nights where you're at game 50 or 60 and you don't feel like playing, Guess who's guess who feels like playing? Mm. Uh, our best player does, and I feel like that's a motivation just to get out there and and be ready to play as well. I also know you set the highest possible standards for yourself, but if you had to pick your biggest critic, would it be yourself? Would it be head coach Mike Budenholzer? Would it be your wife Lauren, who is pushing you the most? It'd be my wife. Uh, <laughs> there are times where. I feel like I embarrass her or if I don't have a good game, I can't come home. Um, knowing that my wife has won uh, two gold medals in the Olympics and then uh, World Cup, World Cup gold, it sets the standard for the household and and I'm catching up. She's a... Uh, yeah, she, she's the goat in our household. I mean, you said it, not me. But speaking of Lauren, in 2020, you pledged the remainder of your MBA salary to combating systemic racism, and you've continued that work through the JLH Foundation. And this week, you closed another round of $1 million funding, which is just incredible. How do you hope this impacts both the black community and black businesses? Uh, I hope it impacts them just to, to keep hope and to know that there's people out there who support them and are fighting for them. Um, I know f for myself and, and, and my wife, we talk about all the time, the easy thing is to write the check. Um, the hard thing to do is to be out in the community, uh, in your community, and want to better not only yourself, but your community. And I feel like all these, uh, all these uh, applicants, all the businesses and, and nonprofits that we, we end up uh, sponsoring is, is exactly that and the way that they approach um, their life, the way that they approach the youngsters in the community uh, and want to better their life, it's really, really motivating to, to see um, every time we get in contact with them. 
well, just researching the work that you have done through your foundation alongside Lauren, it's really been incredible to see over the last couple of years and to read about this, this latest round of funding has been pretty awesome, Drew. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Best of luck in the playoffs. This is the fun part, and we will get to see you a little bit farther down the road. Yes, ma'am. Good seeing you. The Milwaukee Bucks, they will take the floor on Sunday, but the NBA playoffs, they begin tomorrow. I cannot believe it is already that time of year. We get things started with the Nets and the 76ers. Close the day with the Kings and the Warriors. You can see the full schedule there on your screen. But back here with my friend Shanae Gumake, Kendrick Perkins. Perk, starting with you here, what's the one thing that you want to see in these playoffs? No sweeps. No team pulling out brooms. I, like... The playoffs, teams in the playoffs are that, that are going to make the playoffs are, are talented enough to at least win one game. That's what I want to see. That means we're going to have some great basketball and some great series. I agree. Great series, but I also am here for the legacy matchups. Mm. I mean, we finally have one conference, the West, that has that guy, Steph and Clay, that has Kevin Durant, Devin Booker, and Chris Paul, that has LeBron James and Anthony Davis. Yeah. So for me, it's all about these matchups that Hoopers have been waiting for to see when it matters the most. So I love this idea of like the West and then also the East. You can't sleep on them as well. Yeah, see, that's kind of what I'm looking at. It's the old school versus the new school that I'm looking forward to seeing because there's a reason that the top three seasons in the West are who they are, right? right? Because as much as we want to see the Stephs and the LeBrons, this is also a time for those new kids on the block to show exactly what they got. This is the best time of year. It is finally that time. Enjoy the games <laughs> this weekend. The playoffs are here. Tanae is dancing, and we will see you on Monday. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.